The even toed ungulates are ungulates whose weight is borne approximately equally by the third and fourth toes, rather than mostly or entirely by the third as in odd toed ungulates, such as horses. Artiodactyla comes from even and I I I I I I I finger toe, so the name even toed is a translation of the description. This group includes pigs, peccaries, hippopotamuses, camels, llamas, chevrotains, deer, giraffes, pronghorn, antelopes, goat antelopes, and cattle. The group excludes whales, even though DNA sequence data indicate that they share a common ancestor, making the group paraphyletic. The phylogenetically accurate group is Cetartiodactyla. There are about 220 artiodactyl species, including many that are of great dietary, economic, and cultural importance to humans. A further distinguishing feature of the group is the shape of the astragalus, a bone in the ankle joint, which has a double pulley structure. This gives the foot greater flexibility. Evolutionary history. As with many extant mammal groups, even toed ungulates first appeared during the early Eocene. In form, they were rather like today's chevrotains, small, short-legged creatures that ate leaves and the soft parts of plants. By the late Eocene, the three modern suborders had already developed, Cyna, Tylopida, Ruminantia. Nevertheless, artiodactyls were far from dominant at that time. The odd-toed ungulates were much more successful and far more numerous. Even-toed ungulates survived in niche roles, usually occupying marginal habitats, and presumably at that time they developed their complex digestive systems, which allowed them to survive on lower-grade food. The appearance of grasses during the Eocene, and their subsequent spread during the Miocene, allowed a major change. Grasses are very difficult to digest, and the even-toed ungulates, with their highly developed stomachs, were better able to adapt to this coarse, low-nutrient diet, and soon replaced the odd-toed ungulates as the dominant terrestrial herbivores. Now extinct artiodactyla that developed during the Miocene include the genera Ampelimerix, Tauromerix, and Triceromerix. Classification This classification is based on Spalding A.L. 2009 and the extant families recognized by mammal species of the world published in 2005. Currently, the cetaceans and even toed ungulates have been placed in Cetartiodactyla as sister groups, although DNA analysis has shown cetaceans evolved from within Artiodactyla. The most recent theory into the origins of Hippopotamidae suggests that hippos and whales shared a common semi aquatic ancestor that branched off from other Artiodactyls around 60 million years ago. This hypothesized ancestral group likely split into two branches around 54 million years ago. One branch would evolve into cetaceans, possibly beginning with the proto-whale Pachycetus from 52 million years ago, with other early whale ancestors collectively known as Archaeoceti, which eventually underwent aquatic adaptation into the completely aquatic cetaceans. Order Artiodactyla Cetartiodactyla, Suborder Tylopida, Family Euroanoplotheridae, Family Eurochomeropotamidae, Family Eurocanotoridae, Family Euromericodontidae, Family Euroagriaconiridae, Family Camelidae, Camels and Llamas, Family Euroaromericidae, Family Eurochivodontidae, Suborder Cyna, Family Swidae, Pigs, Family Teeswidae, Peccaries, Family Eurosanitheridae, Suborder C. Trumanantia, and Ranked Cetankodontomorpha genus Euroansarcus, Family Euroentelodontidae, in Forda Whipomorpha, Clade Cetacea, Wales, Family Eurorallidae, Family Eurodicognidae, Family Eurohalochidae, Family Eurosebboconiridae, Family Euroanthrocothridae, Family Hippopotamidae, Hippos. And ranked Ruminandiomorpha, in Forda Tragulina, Family Euroamphimoricidae, Family Europrodromotheridae, Family Europrotusseratidae, Family Eurohypotragulidae, Family Europraeotragulidae, Family Tragulidae, Chevrotains, Family Euroarchaeomericidae, Family Eurolophiomericidae. In Florida Pecora, Family Antilocapidae, Pronghorn, Family Giraffidae, Giraffe and Family Euroclimacoceratidae, Family Moshidae, 
musk deer, family Euro leptomericidae, family cervidae, deer, family Euro gelosidae, family Euro paleomericidae, family Euro hoplitomericidae, family bovidae, cattle, goats, sheep, and antelope. Anatomy, physiology, and morphology. The even toed ungulates stand on an even number of toes. The group's three suborders differ in other characteristics. Cyna have retained four toes of fairly equal size, have simpler molars, short legs, and often have enlarged canine teeth that form tusks. Camelids and ruminantia tend to be longer legged, to walk on only the two central toes, and to have more complex cheek teeth that are well suited to grinding up tough grasses. Diet and feeding the ancestors of the even-toed ungulates were omnivores that preferred plant material. Now, even-toed ungulates are generally herbivorous, although species in the suborder Cyna are, like their primitive ancestors, omnivores. Larger stomachs and longer intestines have evolved because plant material is more difficult to digest than meat. Tylopida and chevrotains have a three-chambered stomach, while the rest of ruminantia have four-chambered stomachs. The handicap of a heavy digestive system has increased selective pressure for limb bone adaptations to escape predators. Most species within Sina have a simple two-chambered stomach that allows an omnivorous diet. The Babarissa, however, is a herbivore. They have extra maxillary teeth to allow for the proper mastication of plant material. Most of the fermentation occurs with the help of cellulolytic microorganisms within the calicum. Peccaries, however, have a complex stomach that contains four compartments. Microbial fermentation with the formation of high volatile fatty acid levels has been observed in the four stomach. It has been proposed that their complex four stomach is a means to slow digestive passage and increase digestive efficiency. Hippopotamuses have a three chambered stomach and do not ruminate. They consume around 68 a kg of grass and other plant matter each night. They may cover large distances to obtain their food, which they digest with the help of microbes that produce cellulase. Their closest living relatives, the whales, are obligate carnivores. Rumination occurs in the ruminants, whereby food is regurgitated and rechewed then broken down by microbes in the stomach. After ingestion of plant material, it is mixed with saliva in the ruminant reticulum and separates into layers of solid and liquid material. The solids lump together to form a bolus, this is regurgitated by reticular contractions while the glottis is closed. When the bolus enters the mouth, the fluid is squeezed out with the tongue and re-swallowed. The bolus is chewed slowly to completely mix it with saliva and to break down the particle size. Ingested food passes to the fermentation chamber where it is kept in continual motion by rhythmic contractions of this organ. Cellulitic microbes produce cellulase which is needed to break down the cellulose found in plant material. Without this mutual symbiosis, ruminants would find plant material indigestible. Habitat and distribution Even toed ungulates are found on every continent but Antarctica. They were introduced to Australia and New Zealand by humans. Relationship with humans The even toed ungulates are of more economic and cultural benefit than any other group of mammals. There is clear evidence of antelope being used for food two million years ago in the Old Avi Gorge, part of the Great Rift Valley. Cro-Magnons relied heavily on reindeer for food, skins, tools and weapons. With dropping temperatures and increased reindeer numbers at the end of the Pleistocene, they became the prey of choice. By around 12,500 years ago, reindeer remains accounted for 94% of bones and teeth found in a cave above the Karkopiraitu River. Today, cattle are the basis of a multi-billion dollar industry worldwide. The international trade in beef for 2000 was over $30 a billion and represented only 23% of world beef production. Jewish biblical laws of Kashrut define a cloven hoof as one of two key requirements for an animal to be capable of consideration for kosher consumption. Conservation Humans have hunted many species of artiodactyls without regulation. This has caused half of the even-toed ungulates to be near extinction, especially in areas with decreased economic development. There have been conservation efforts to increase local population growths. 
some have been so effective that population control has been enforced. The even-toed ungulate has experienced habitat loss in addition to climate change. Climate change has forced many species to move polluted. An example would be moose, which are heat intolerant, whose southernmost populations have declined sharply in response to increased temperatures. There are 168 artiodactyl species on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Seven are listed as extinct, two as a Euro OE extinct in the Wilder Euro, 26 as a Euro OE in Danger Eda Euro, one as a Euro OE in Threatened Euro, and 73 as a Euro OE Low Risk Euro. There is information lacking for the 13 other species. References External links Ungulate Taxonomy A New Perspective from Groves and Grub.